Hello everybody, I'm Gaëtan Bonn, the AQA Project Manager of Solidarité Internationale. I'm going to present you the AQA initiative, an initiative that is implemented by Oxfam and Solidarité Internationale and is funded by ECO and BHA. So quickly the outline of the presentation that you can see on the, on the screen. So why the accountability on quality assurance initiative? Basically, it's all about measuring what matters. What we can all agree on is that evaluation often identifies some te technical issues. It's very common to hear from people affected by crisis that aid does not meet their priority needs. Data collection and, and analysis are more often done on quantity. And data collection and analysis are time consuming and cost quite a bit of money too. So what we need to achieve? We need to collectively set clear standards for quality and hold ourselves accountable. We need to measure ourselves against affected population expectations and adapt the program accordingly. We need metrics that show where to improve so that course corrections can be made in time to be effective. So monitoring what matters will lead to programs that have more meaningful impact. So about the AQA approach, the objective of the AQA initiative is to empower partners with the information needed to deliver high quality responses by measuring what matters, while emphasizing the voice of those affected by crisis. So it's a step-by-step -step process, a simple process with four steps. The first step is define. It's in this step that the key quality indicators are going to be chosen and are going to be con contextualized. The methodology and calculation methods are also defined during this step. The second step is measure. Implementing partners are collecting data and key quality indicators are continuously monitored. This step leads to the production of a quality snapshot. The third step is adapt. Corrective actions are co collectively identified to improve the impact of the response. And the fourth step is learn. Trends, action plans are reviewed and lessons learned are documented. Definition, documents and tools are revised to make sure they are appropriate to the context and the response objective. So what are the tools of the uh, AQA uh, initiative? We have two key documents. The first key document is the uh, guide notes, which is a step-by-step -step process which have to be followed by the coordination platform to collectively implement the AQA uh, approach. And we have the modular analytical framework. That is a flexible tool that provides watch standards, indicators, and monitoring approach for watch partners looking to prioritize the monitoring of quality. It's composed of uh, four modules, actually, that have to be selected and adapted based on the priorities agreed by partners. There is also a new module, the market-based modules, which is going to be released very soon. And the four modules, which are already available, are wash services, risk on public health, population uh, center pro programmation, and uh, wash analysis. So below you have the link to uh, access these two key uh, documents. So currently, uh, the AQA initiative is ongoing in uh, 10 pilot countries. So the, the countries uh, that are involved in the AQA initiative are Bangladesh, Burkina Faso, Mali, Mozambique, 
Myanmar, Northwest Syria, South Sudan, Sudan, Venezuela, and Yemen. So there is technical uh, working groups activated in uh, eight countries. Data collection has started in seven countries. Three countries have already uh, produced a quality, quality dashboard and two countries are working on it now. And two countries are working currently on the identification of corrective action to improve their wash response. So this is a, an example of quality uh, snapshot which has been realized in uh, South Sudan. So uh, it illustrates the different key quality indicators that have been filled up with the uh, quality uh, data that have been collected by uh, implemented partners. So you have the water supply, sanitation, menstrual hygiene, hand washing. And you have the perception indicators with the satisfaction, inclusion, safety, and the feedback. So to conclude, the EQA initiative is linked to collective outcomes from the Sustainable Development Goals commitments. We commit to renew our focus on excellence in effective and equitable humanitarian wash coordination for the people most affected by and vulnerable to crisis. We, work, we, are, we are working on a standardization of the process. Currently, each country has a, its own uh, documents and tools to implement the EQ initiative. And the idea is to uh, have a, a, a toolbox a standardized tool toolbox to help new countries who want to join the EQA initiative. We are looking to extend the initiative to new countries. There is already some countries that are interested to join it. So you have Central African Republic, Cameroon, Ethiopia, Somalia. And if there is any other interested cluster coordinator, he or she can contact the EQA project team. And we're looking to uh, extend uh, the initiative to other sectors. There is an uh, ongoing discussion with CCCM and chapter sectors. Thank you for your attention.